Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit, just a little bit, about what's coming up in Ubuntu in 2021. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Ubuntu's release schedule, they release two releases every year, one in April, one in October. Uh, and their version numbers are always the year, so this will year be 21, and then a period, and then the month that they release, so 04 for April, 10 for October. So, the two releases this year will be 2104 and 2110. This will be a year of no long-term support releases because we had the last year. Um, so we're looking at two short-term releases that will probably feature some fairly big changes. So let's t t first take a look at what's what we know for sure is going to be coming up in uh, version 21.404. And we'll, I'll start off by saying that these are still tentative. It's still being worked on. I don't think that the feature freeze happens until late February, early March. I might be wrong about that. So they're still coming up with features. So there, there's a few things that we definitely do know. So this is coming from debugpoint.com. Uh, I believe OMG Ubuntu has the exact same stuff. So they're aiming right now for a release of April 22nd. So... That's usually, that's pretty normal for an April release. It's always towards the end of April. No, oh, here we go. The feature freeze is, 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 at, is at the end of February. So um, I wasn't too far off on that. Uh, the beta would be in the first part of March or April. So obviously we'll get to see the next kernel. Uh, right now, I'm pretty sure that um, the most recent Ubuntu uses um, 5. Point, like, 5.9 uh, I can't remember 5.10 is the most recent one as of recording uh, they're saying we may see 5.11 before uh, the next Ubuntu comes out if not I'll use the 5.10 release and 5.10 is actually the LTS kernel so that's the one that I'm actually using now so um, like all new Ubuntu releases we'll see uh, a new kernel the, or the probably the most recent kernel as of the feature freeze. Uh, the big feature for 21.04 is going to be GNOME 40. So if we look at some of the features for GNOME 40, we're actually looking at a, um, a fairly big redesign of the way GNOME works. So they're moving the panel from the side to the bottom. Now, I we don't know how Ubuntu is going to do this, because remember, Ubuntu doesn't use straight up GNOME. They use their own little fork of it. So whether or not they keep their panel along the side like they always have, which I'm assuming they probably will, um, so that change probably won't follow through to Ubuntu, like you see here in this animation. Uh, but I would assume the things that we will see is the new multitasking uh, view, which is the the workspaces along the side, uh, you know, long ways, instead of along the side like they used to be. The new app drawer and so on and so forth like, like that. It'll be interesting to see how they do incorporate the you know, 40 stuff into it while still keeping the you know their Ubuntu fl flair, I guess one way to say it. Uh, they always update the native apps, and uh, there's r apparently rumors that they might allow uh, users to encrypt their .ext4 partitions without being forced to use LVM. That's going to be the new thing, because right now you can encrypt using LVM. I'm not exactly sure how this would work. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I've never actually used LVM before because I don't encrypt my home drive, mainly because I switch around distros too often, and it seems like it's kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, this last one here is a big one. From the beginning of Ubuntu <laughs> until now, your home directory was actually not uh, separated from other users on your just your machine so they could actually if you say say you had two users they could see each other's home directories completely yeah, or whatever they had read permissions on both uh, in 2104 that's going to change so the only the owner of the home directory can see it uh, which is <laughs> why that wasn't a default to begin with I don't know that doesn't make a lot of sense to me but that's just the way it's always been and they're finally fixing it. So that's 21.04. The biggest change is going to be GNOME 40. Uh, I assume we'll probably see some performance increases, you know, benefits, because we usually do. 
I'm I'm a little worried that Gnome 40 will actually take a step back in terms of performance because there looks like there's a lot of animations. Gnome has been known to not do animation all that great in the past. So uh, I guess we'll just have to see. Ubuntu sometimes kind of mitigates that by being better at, you know, knowing uh, mutter and all that kind of stuff than what Gnome seems to be, you know, straight up Gnome seems to do. So what about the rest of the year? So what about the second release? We don't know a lot about it. So we'll probably see, uh, I'm not, there'll probably be a new version of Gnome out then, but because of all the big changes in Gnome 40, we'll prob it'll probably just be a maintenance update. Things to make it run faster, run smoother, and things like that. There'll be the normal application updates. Um, I know that they were working, they're working on continuing to improve the support for ZFS in the the ubiquity installer which is going to be good it'd be interesting to see if by the time we get to 21.10 if the zfs thing is more prominent because right now it's kind of buried and it also has this big word on it this is experimental so i'm wondering if they'll take that off because 21.04 will be the last mid tier release or whatever before we get to the next lts which will be 22.04 so it'll be interesting to see how they start more incorporating ZFS, or if they do, because uh, ZFS was in the last LTS, but like I said, it had the experimental tag still attached to it. So it'll be interesting to see, like I said, if they bring that more to the forefront. Front. It'll also be interesting, I would love to see them bring more uh, different types of file systems, so like ButterFS or something like that towards, you know, into an experimental feature towards the end of this year. I don't think that that's going to happen. I think that they've put their their efforts behind ZFS instead of ButterFS, but it'll be interesting to see. So that really is Ubuntu for 20 20, 2021. Uh, I think that the biggest thing we'll be looking forward to this year is Gnome 40 and how they incorporate the changes from upstream Gnome into their own little spin of it because if they go through and do their own little kind of redesign that would be very interesting uh if they move more towards the way you know looks than what ubuntu has traditionally looked that'd be i mean that'd be kind of cool um because ubuntu is kind of we have to admit ubuntu is kind of looking kind of stale because it looks look this it has looked the same since unity was around since unity was inter introduced so it'd be interesting to see I keep saying that, it, you know, something a little bit fresher, and I don't, but that's more of a prediction and a hope than, uh, you know, than something that we actually know is going to happen. So, that is it for this episode. Uh, I'm really, I really like Ubuntu. I will say this story. I've just distro hopped, uh, because I was trying to solve a problem that I couldn't fix. I didn't end up solving the problem. I kept having some problems installing distros, and <laughs> I couldn't eat, go back to Arco, which is what I'm, because I couldn't get it to boot up. So I ended up going to Ubuntu for about four hours. I was on Ubuntu for four hours. I get, installed DWM on it and everything. I missed the AUR. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is it for us this time. If you want to uh, support the channel, you can do so in any number of ways. You can hit subscribe, you can hit the like button, you can hit the down vote button, you can uh, you can um, you can go through and support us on Patreon at patreoncom linuxcast We really do appreciate any way you support the channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.